Hi everyone, uh, I'm Sarah. Um, thank you for checking out my channel. So today I am doing um, part two of two um, of a commission piece. Um, the part one that I did for it, uh, I think is video number um, six. And uh, the part one was two 15 inch by 30 inch canvases. It was a diptych um, piece. And it was a black base. Um, it was a Dutch pour with a black base and um, red, uh, like, blowout. It, I'm going to be doing the exact same color concept on this one, except this canvas is 2 feet by 3 feet, or more commonly known um, as 24 inches by 36 inches. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and get my base laid down and everything. Um, I'm using six different colors of red, um, two of which are metallic, but I'll get into that in a little bit. I mix up a lot of black. Uh, I intentionally mixed up extra just because it's better to have extra than not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and get my base laid down and, and then I'll come back to you, to you guys, okay? We're back so um i still have it uh sped up a little bit but um just to make it go by faster <laughs> but uh i'm gonna go ahead and lay down my colors um the it took me a while to figure out how exactly i wanted to lay them down because i wanted um this is eventually going to go in the middle of the two 15 by 30s and so I wanted them to, like, the design on, on all three of them to kind of flow nicely um, together when put together. And so that made me so indecisive about how I exactly I wanted the design, but I finally figured it out. And um, so the first red that I am using is um, cadmium red, cadmium red medium. Um, and then... <laughs> the black swallowed that right up, even though I did mix some white in with it. And so I went ahead and laid some titanium white down on top of it as well. Because that will help keep um, the colors from getting swallowed up by the black. And it will increase the opacity and all that great stuff. And help it to stay nice and bright and vibrant against that black base. Um, the second red that I just put down on there was uh, Crimson. Crimson red. And then, um, okay, so these are my two metallic reds. Uh, what's funny is they're both called Garnet, but they are two very, very different colors. The darker one is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallics, and the lighter colored one is Folk, folk uh, sorry, Folk Art Metallics. And so, same name, two very different colors. Uh, but the first one I used was the Deco Art, 
uh, garnet, which is the darker one. And now I'm laying down um, cadmium red deep hue. I absolutely love this color. It's one of my favorite colors, and it's and it's opaque, and so that, that's nice. And this one is rose bright red. <clears throat> And I'm drizzling a little bit more titanium white on there. And this one is the Folk Art um, Metallic Garnet. Alright, and I am laying down um, a few of the reds and just... Not heavily, but um, in a couple more spots, just because this is a very large canvas, I wanted to make sure that there was enough red um, to blow out enough, um, if that makes sense. And um, when I first was putting more crimson down, though, because it's coming out of a cup and not a squeeze bottle, like a huge, like drop, um, <laughs> it was like a huge, like round spot of that one color, just splashed right there and so I use um, a medicine syringe uh, that has now been reassigned as a painting tool <laughs> uh, to suck up some of that extra color and I'm drizzling a little bit of black on there as well because um, I like how it kind of breaks up the solid red color whenever I blow it out So yeah, I used a little bit more crimson, rose bright red, and cadmium red deep hue. All right, and um, I'm going to about to torch the air bubbles out of this and blow it out. take you guys in for a close-up how to get it on like a ladder <laughs> now reds make the exposure um, of my camera go crazy so you're gonna see a flashing between like different shades of red for some reason it's weird all right the lacing I have is insane Like, that is absolutely... Oh, whoops, sorry. Okay, sorry. Wait, took you guys on a ride. All right. I am so in love with this. All right, so how it looks in real life, right now it looks kind of like an orangey shade of red. That's not how it actually looks. Um... See. 
don't know. It's not it's not showing the right shade of red. Maybe if I turn off. See, that's more accurate right there. That lacing is incredible. I was going to blow that part out right there, but um, I don't know. I actually kind of like it. I was going to blow it out like out this way, but I don't know. I really, really, I'm still kind of considering it, but I really, really like that striping at the same time. I think it looks really cool. Yep, that's one more shot from above. So let me know what you guys think. Like, I'm overall, I'm really, really in love with this, but I'm also my biggest critic. So that means there's like just a couple little things about it that, um, my um, critical mind is telling me that I should fix <laughs> or that should be a little different. Um, but I am really, really extremely happy with this painting, really proud of it. Um, so I would love it if you guys let me know real quick what you think or whatever. All right. Thank you for checking out my video.